Intravenous paracetamol for persistent pain after endoscopic mucosal resection discriminates patients at risk of adverse events and those who can be safely discharged. Introduction. Endoscopic mucosal resection, EMR, is accepted as the first-line technique to remove large, i.e. 20 millimeters or more, laterally spreading lesions of the colorectum. Neither the frequency nor severity of pain after EMR is well understood, and no risk factors have been identified to predict its occurrence. In contrast, perioperative analgesia in colonic surgery is well defined with a structured, evidence-based approach to pain covering the entire perioperative period. The specific goals of perioperative analgesia are to provide sufficient pain relief, allowing early mobilization, bowel function, and feeding, and to be devoid of complications. Pain after colonic EMR is not infrequent, however, it has yet to be subjected to systemic study. Transmural thermal injury with consequent local peritoneal inflammation is one such cause. Historically, this has been termed post-polypectomy syndrome. Other causes of pain after colonic EMR may include transmural injection during EMR, abdominal distension, which today is the less frequent owing to the widespread use of carbon dioxide, and urinary retention. Pain after colonic EMR may be accompanied by a significant inflammatory response mandating hospital admission. EMR-related perforation is always a possibility, although the risk of this can be mitigated by a systematic examination of the EMR defect for deep injury. Clearly, the ability to discriminate between these scenarios is clinically important and has financial and resource implications for patients and healthcare systems. The ideal treatment for pain after colonic EMR should be safe and widely available with a rapid onset without clouding the clinical picture or mandating hospital admission owing to side effects. Paracetamol is a vital component of analgesia in post-surgical patients. The peak effect of IV paracetamol is generally reached at the end of a 15-minute infusion. It has been shown to provide a 16% reduction in the requirement for opioid analgesics after abdominal surgery. It is safe, inexpensive, and widely available. It therefore seems to be a logical drug of choice for the treatment of pain after colonic EMR, given that EMR is commonly performed as a day case procedure. In this study, the authors aimed to determine the frequency and characteristics of pain after colonic EMR the risk factors for its occurrence, and the efficacy of IV paracetamol as a discriminant between benign and more sinister causes of pain after colonic EMR. Methods. Procedural and lesion data on consecutive patients with laterally spreading lesions who underwent EMR at a single tertiary referral center were prospectively collected. If pain after colonic EMR graded using a visual analog scale, lasted more than five minutes, one gram of paracetamol was administered. Pain lasting more than 30 minutes led to clinical review and upgrade to opiate analgesics. Investigations and interventions for pain were recorded. Results. Approximately 20% of patients experienced pain after colonic EMR. Multivariable predictors of pain were lesion size 40 millimeters or more, female sex, and intraprocedural bleeding requiring endoscopic control. Of 67 patients with pain, 51 had resolution of their mild pain after paracetamol and were discharged without sequelae. The remaining 16 required opiate analgesia with fentanyl, after which 11 of 16 patients could be discharged. The 5 of 67 patients with severe pain had no resolution despite fentanyl, all settled during hospital admission with a median duration of two days, intravenous analgesia and antibiotics. Conclusion. Pain after colonic EMR occurs in approximately 20% of patients and resolves rapidly and completely in the majority with administration of intravenous paracetamol. Pain despite opiates heralds a more serious scenario and further investigation should be considered.